day before Turkey Day, ladies and gentlemen. And here, right here is where we usually get into our foolishness and debauchery called the Entertainment Report. But we preempt our Entertainment Report because the top story on our Entertainment Report anyway is in the building with us. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, Neo is here. What up, sir? How you doing, sir? I'm good. Happy, happy, you, happy take Turkey Day to you, bro. Happy Turkey Day to you, Let's brother. get right to it, bro. You was on the R. Kelly tours. You, Keech Cole. Jay Holiday. Jay Holiday and, and Rob. Mr. Yeah. Robert Kelly. Mm -hmm. And now you're not on the R. Kelly tour. Now I am not on the R. Kelly tour. Why are you no longer on the tour? All right, well, um, I, I spoke to, uh, I spoke to, um, who did I speak to about this yesterday? I spoke to a few people about this yesterday. I'm going to say everything today that I said yesterday, so it ain't no confusion. Um, they're telling me to say that, yeah, they're telling me to say <laughs> that the, the PC term is that we couldn't reach a fair contractual agreement. Right. Which is, which is absolute BS. Because um, basically, I have my people in there fighting for stuff that uh, I honestly think I was supposed to be just given. For example, first show, Columbus, Columbus, Georgia. Right. Seven dressing rooms in the venue. This man took all seven dressing rooms. I couldn't get one dressing room. I got me, dancers, and a band. I can't get one dressing room. Seven dressing rooms? Seven dressing rooms. He took all of them. We had to go in there and fight so that me and my dancers and my band could get one dressing room. So they stuck you and your dress, you and your dancers in the band, all into one dressing room. Yeah, well, I, I got but the after you got fought for it, and we got the little area. Um, it's a, it was a little area in the back that they curtained off for the dancers. Yeah. So the dancers had to dress behind the curtain. Yeah. Now. And we you, had to fight for that. Did your second album just go platinum? Yeah, it did. Uh -huh. And your first album did what? Uh, three worldwide, I believe. Some three million artists. copies. Uh, so yes. you're a multi-platinum artist, singer, songwriter. And performer, and you had to fight for a dressing room. For a dressing room, okay. Wow. All right, that it don't stop there. It okay. don't stop there. Okay. okay. Um, I I live in Atlanta right now, so we in Atlanta, you know, rehearsing. They told us the the um, you know, the size of the stage and everything. So we set it up in a rehearsal studio, you know. So we rehearsing in the rehearsal studio. We don't need to, we don't need to see the stage, you know, because they were stripping off that. Then they offer for us to come down to Columbus, Georgia. Now, uh, from where we are to Columbus, that's like an hour and a half drive. They offer right. for us to come down. And rehearse on the stage. They said we'll give y'all four hours to rehearse on the stage. So all right. So all my people, we get, we all get up early. We all drive down there. Four hours. After two hours, they was like, y'all gotta get off stage because Mr. Kelly is coming in right now. Y'all gotta go. After two hours, that like now y'all offered us four, and y'all can kick us off after two. Why? Like what's 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 going on here? What's going on here? <laughs> You can have understand. four hours of rehearsal time on the stage, but after two hours, you got to leave. Yeah. <laughs> and you have to go because Mr. Kelly is coming. In. Yeah. So you can't hang out and say, hey, yo, what's up? No. No. You got to go. Damn. Damn. Period. Nobody is allowed in the hallway when this man is walking through. Oh, wow. Come on. <laughs> wow. Come on. Come on. Come on. I'm not kidding. Come on. I'm not oh, kidding. It's called cold blue. Cold, cold blue. blue. Right. R. Kelly is moving through the hallway. Oh, Whatever room you in, that's the room you in until he moves through that hallway. Oh, are you I'm joking, son? I'm not kidding. Now, the only time I have ever in my whole entire existence seen this is Michael Jackson. Exactly. When Michael Jackson was in Europe <clears throat> with Criss Cross and Michael Jackson, and they pulled black curtains around. Every, it, wherever you was, they yanked the curtain full of black curtain when Mike came through. All right? But nice. Mike used to like to play tricks. He would say he was coming in one place, and then he would just walk in, like, all the way across all the security. <laughs> after one over he just did it for fun. For a group. But it's a cold blue. Cold blue. You have to stay where you are. You cannot move. Can't you say cannot. what's up. No. Rob, thanks for having me on the tour. No, Nothing. None of that. None of that. Wow, now, I'm not trying to stop. Look, I'm not the dude for beef. There is no R&B beef. That that don't exist, okay? Right. Melody, harmony, these are not beef words, okay? These are R&B words. That's not, I'm not trying to start no beef with this man. It ain't nothing like that. It ain't going to be no diss records or nothing crazy like that. Right. I just don't feel that. I, I, don't, I don't feel it was done right, you know? Uh. <clears throat> they're saying that, that, like I said, they're saying that it was, it was a, a contractual. We couldn't reach a fair contractual agreement, but... I don't. I don't feel that we needed to be. I don't feel that I needed to have my people in there fighting for stuff that I'm supposed to just get. It's like like you a know, dressing room. Yeah, like I mean, like no, your I mean, own separate dressing room, a dressing room for your dancers, and then another dressing room for the band. Yeah, yeah. That's. I mean, that's fair, especially if there's seven of them in the venue. Wow.
There's seven dressing rooms. I can't I can't get one for real. All right. <laughs> you know. But I mean, we we was willing to deal with all that. We was willing to deal with all that because I wanted to do the show. Right. I wanted to do the show. I knew it was gonna be a good look. We were selling out. You know, I wanted to do the show. Right. So we was willing to deal with that. Wow. You know, and then it probably didn't help matters either that the first few reviews for the show, people had a lot of very positive things to say about my portion of the show and not as many about his portion of the show. Yeah. Sound like, probably, sound you know, like the Jay-Z debacle. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so there was a rumor that uh -huh. y'all had a problem, a dispute over a woman. Over a woman? Yeah, that, that's why you're not on the tour. A dispute over a woman? Yeah, you and R. Kelly were beefing over a woman. What woman? But I didn't see R. Kelly or or I saw I saw though. his DJ and I saw uh, his background singers and that's about it. I ain't seen none. Well, I saw one or two of his band members in passing. I didn't see this man for the whole time. I mean, like the whole time, like I was on the tour real long. But I didn't see this man the whole time I was on the tour. At all. At all. He didn't stop by and say, "Neo, what up?" No. 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 Cold Bloom! <laughs> I'm about to do that around here. <laughs> Cold Blue at the power. I'll come through. What did, what? So, you just went through this whole tour thing a couple of years ago. We just went through this with R. Kelly and Jay-Z. Now it's you and R. Kelly. Is it safe to say, in your opinion, that he's the problem or his handlers are the problem? You know what? I don't know. I don't know. Because I never got the opportunity to speak to him face-to-face, man-to-man. You know, everything that everything that was brought to us was brought to us through his people. Right. You know? And I'm looking at it like, okay, um, you are in control of your situation, right? Right. So if your people are coming at us with it, it's got to be coming from you, right? So who, who asked you not to be on the tour anymore? His people came to you? Um, the way, I think the way it was explained to me is that <clears throat> we heard that, we heard that um, there was going to be lineup changes. Oh, oh, oh. Right. So my people called in like, yo, okay, what's the lineup change? And I was like, um, the lineup change is y'all ain't trying to Wow. That's the lineup change. That's the lineup change. Wow. Wow, so no, he's never picked up the phone and said, hey, Neo, hey, baby. How I you, not baby? spoken to this man at all. No. Ever? Ever. Wow. What did Jay-Z say Cause when you... I don't know what you're on the tour anymore. What did Hull say? I, haven't, I actually haven't spoke to Hull about this whole situation yet. I ain't talked to him yet. No. But I'm 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 guessing I'm I can imagine what he's gonna say. <laughs> 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 After laughing. You know. Yeah. Cause he went through the same mess, man. man. Wow. That's that's crazy. So you did how many shows on the tour? I did two shows. Two <laughs> <laughs> How many were how many were scheduled? Um the tour was supposed to run all the way through January. Oh wow. Yeah. That was Christmas shopping money. Yeah. <laughs> You know, it's cool. It's cool. I'm, so you know, is that I'm a breach? <clears throat> is that a breach for him to come to you and say there's a lineup change? Is that a breach of contract? Well, the thing, the way that the way that it happens is, okay, his people were supposed to come at us with some insurance information right. about the whole about the whole contract, the whole contract situation. Mm -hmm. Okay, we couldn't sign the contracts until his people got at us with this insurance information. Okay, now this was told to them. Everybody knew what was going on. Second, y'all get us insurance information. We sign the contract. We keep it pushing. Okay, right. so in the process of them gathering the insurance information to get to us, I'm promoting the show. I'm, I'm doing shows. They right. paid us for the first two shows. Okay, because right. everybody's under the impression that once they get this information to us, contract is signed. We keep it pushing. Right. They never got us the info. Okay. We calling them like, yo, what's going on? With, what's going on with the insurance info? What's going on? And you already on the tour. The tour buses is out there. The tour is moving already. How many people you got out with you? Um, let me see. There's, I got four dancers. I got five band members. Security. Um, my role manager. Right. Personal Styl assistant. Stylist. Mm, no, nah, no, nah, stylist don't roll. But okay. the, ward the wardrobe lady roll. Okay. Um, yeah, that's that's quite a few people. That's a lot. Quite of a few people. people that I had to pay out of my pocket. I don't, you know. Uh, I gave I gave everybody I gave everybody uh, half of the money that they would have got had we continued the tour because oh, these nice, people took man. time out. Come on, man! These people took time from you know being with their families for the holidays and everything to do this tour. Everybody was excited about doing this tour, right. and then this happened. Now I'm, I'm gonna go on the record and say I have the utmost respect for this man as an artist. Right. You cannot take away from the fact that this man is a musical genius. Okay. But there's right. a fine line with that being Jesus said, and I'm saying there's some stuff that just I feel he's R. Kelly. Okay, he does deserve a certain degree of respect. Absolutely, absolutely, absolutely. But Musically, he is is hard <coughs> to touch him. Very true, very yeah. true, very absolutely. true. And before and because of that, I have that respect for him. But as a person, as a man, 
I honestly lost a little respect for him behind this. I right. really did. Yeah, because really he should if there's a problem, he should come to you from, yeah. one, from one artist to another <laughs> artist. It's not like you... Um, you know, Bobo the knucklehead who hasn't sold a damn record who just should be happy to be on the tour. He said, okay, Bobo, I'm going to let you open up the tour. And then, yeah, I ain't working out with Bobo. Get rid of him. You know what I mean? You're a multi-platinum artist as well as a producer and songwriter. And just because of that, on its own merit, there should have been a conversation from man to another man saying, look, here, Neo, this ain't working out or the stage or this, that, and the third. But that cold blue when he's coming through and all that stuff, that's a little bit crazy, man. Before Turkey Day, ladies and gentlemen. And here, right here is where we usually get into our foolishness and debauchery called the Entertainment Report. But we preempt our Entertainment Report because the top story on our Entertainment Report anyway is in the building with us. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, Neo is here. What up, sir? How you doing, sir? I'm good. Happy, happy, happy you, take Turkey Day to you, bro. Happy Turkey Day to you, Let's brother. get right to it, bro. You was on the R. Kelly tour. You, Keech Cole. Jay Holiday. Jay Holiday and, and Rob. Mr. Yeah. Robert Kelly. Mm -hmm. And now you're not on the R. Kelly tour. Now I am not on the R. Kelly tour. Why are you no longer on the tour? All right, well, um, I, I spoke to, uh, I spoke to, um, who did I speak to about this yesterday? I spoke to a few people about this yesterday. I'm going to say everything today that I said yesterday, so it ain't no confusion. Um, they're telling me to say that, yeah, they're telling me to say that the, the PC term is that we couldn't reach a fair contractual agreement. Right. Which is, which is absolute BS. Because um, basically, I have my people in there fighting for stuff that uh, I honestly think I was supposed to be just given. For example, first show, Columbus, Columbus, Georgia. Right. Seven dressing rooms in the venue. This man took all seven dressing rooms. I couldn't get one dressing room. I got me, dancers, and a band. I can't get one dressing room. Seven dressing rooms? Seven dressing rooms. He took all of them. We had to go in there and fight so that me and my dancers and my band could get one dressing room. So they stuff you and your dress, you and your dancers in the band, all into one dressing room. Yeah, well, I, I but got after you fought for it, and we got the little area. Um, it's a, it was a little area in the back that they curtained off for the dancers. Yeah. So the dancers had to dress behind the curtain. Yeah. Now. And, and we you, had to fight your for that. Second album, just go platinum. Yeah, it did. Uh huh. And your first album did what? Uh, three worldwide, I believe. Some three million artists. copies. Yeah, so yeah. you're a multi-platinum artist, singer, songwriter. And performer, and you had to fight for a dressing room. For a dressing room, okay. Wow. All right, that it don't stop there. It okay. don't stop there. Okay. okay. Um, I I live in Atlanta right now, so we in Atlanta, you know, rehearsing. They told us the the um, you know, the size of the stage and everything. So we set it up in a rehearsal studio, you know. So we rehearsing in the rehearsal studio. We don't need to, we don't need to see the stage, you know, because they were stripping off that. Then they offer for us to come down to Columbus, Georgia. Now, uh, from where we are to Columbus, that's like an hour and a half drive. They offer right. for us to come down. And rehearse on the stage. They said we'll give y'all four hours to rehearse on the stage. So all right. So all my people, we get, we all get up early. We all drive down there. Four hours. After two hours, that was like y'all gotta get off stage because Mr. Kelly is coming in right now. Y'all gotta go. After two hours, that like now y'all offered us four, and y'all can kick us off after two. Why? Like what's 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 going on here? What's going on here? <laughs> You can have understand. four hours of rehearsal time on the stage, but after two hours, you got to leave. Yeah. And you have to go because Mr. Kelly is coming. In. Yeah. So you can't hang out and say, hey, yo, what's up? No. No. You got to go. Damn. Period. Nobody is allowed in the hallway when this man is walking through. Oh, come wow. on. <laughs> wow. Come on. Come on. Come on. Come on. I'm not kidding. Come come on. On. I'm not kidding. It's called cold blue. Cold, cold blue. blue. R. Kelly is moving through the hallway. Oh, Whatever room you in, that's the room you in until he moves through that hallway. Oh, are you joking, son? I'm not kidding. Now the only time I have ever, in my whole entire existence, seen this is Michael Jackson. Exactly. When Michael Jackson was in Europe <clears throat> with Criss Cross and Michael Jackson, and they pulled black curtains around every it, wherever you was. They yanked the curtain full of black curtain when Mike came through. All right, but Mike used to like to play tricks. He would say he was coming in one place, and then he would just walk in, like, all the way across all the security. <laughs> after one over he just did it for fun for a group. But it's a cold blue. Cold blue. You have to stay where you are. 